both men and women should are called to be kind and humble and loving and lots of things we can say. Both sexes need to listen to one another. So sometimes we wrongly polarize the sexes and act like anything loving or kind or gentle is womanly and anything aggressive and warlike and, and convictional is, is manly. And, and that's not true. There's a lot of overlap between the sexes. Nonetheless, we have to affirm as Christians that it is good to be a man. It is good to be distinctly masculine. I don't mean merely in, in terms of the, the precise gender role that God has given you if you're in marriage or something like that. I mean, it is good to have a masculine body. It is good to talk like a man. It is good to look like a man. It is good to dress like a man. Are there gray areas in all of this? There are. But nonetheless, we're not getting lost in, in nuance land. We are first saying what red pill advocates have rightly said. It's good to be a man just as it is good to be a woman.